Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, we're going to do a little bit of empire management right now, but apparently there's something I can set in species rights. Now that's something that I haven't really looked at, so let me just have a second to have a look around. So if I go to species, uh, let's just find human, right? Let's go human to start with. Human's going to be, yeah, okay, we'll just go basic human, right? So I can set the rights. And in right, so you can set something in here. Ah, living standards. So you can move this up to utopian abundance. So your upkeep costs more. Wait, so what's decent conditions? So it's one times for rulers, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and then 0 0.05. Okay. This, it costs one for everything. Okay, I see. Cool. So basically it costs more, but... That's fine. Uh, must be false. There are no slaves and you can't have extermination, forced labor, displacement or processing. Okay, or we could have chemical bliss. Which means that pop happiness goes up by 40% unless there's a consumer goods deficit. But then it also lowers your resource uh, resources from jobs by 60%. And then social welf welfare? Unemployed pops have normal happiness and produce unity. Wait, so this one? Yeah, they're the same. Oh, but this one also produces extra research. Okay, now. If I set default rights, there we go. I want everyone to be utopian abundance. Yes. And then I want to click reset to default. Yes. So that means that everyone should now be on that. So if I check, um, like, the Hazar here, right? Fantastic. Good. Uh, is there anything else I'd want to do? No, I think we're okay. Purge type doesn't matter because we're not purging. Good. Right. So that should cost us a ton of consumer goods. Like, a ridiculous amount. So let's just let that go forward to start with. I'm going to go a month, and then we'll probably do some building. Let's let this all go a month forward and see what happens. Okay. So now we're minus 1k consumer goods. Now that is fantastic news. You might be like, oh, that's terrible. No, it's fantastic. It means we have a resource that we need, which is something we haven't had in a while. So now we need consumer goods. Wonderful. But wait, did our research just go up to 3k? It did. Oh, wow. Our research speed just increased significantly. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, so that would have been good to turn on earlier, actually. But it should also mean, like, our unemployed pops here. Who cares? They may be unemployed, but at the same time, they have normal happiness, so them being unemployed means nothing, right? So if I go and have a look at this thing right now, game is lagging out like no one's business when we go in here, but that's okay. But if we have a look at this, happiness is 100%. Okay, so why stability lore? Overcrowding. Okay. And it's overcrowding because we... Yeah, so if I get rid of one of these and replace it with a city district, that'll fix our overcrowding issue. Yeah. So actually, we're fine. Yeah. Wonderful. Let me just check a few more of these. So you're actually just perfect. Yeah, so why are you negative? You just are. Okay. If I go and check a pop, like, I don't know, you, why are you, like, 100%, 100, oh, that's habitability. Why is your happiness 81%? Can that break, can you break that down for me? Because you're decadent. Oh, it just makes you less happy. Oh, so some of our stability can never be fixed. Oh, okay. Cool. That's good to know. It, it, there's a lot less pressure on you when you know it literally can't be fixed. <laughs> well, I mean, unless you go into their species and then change their traits, but that would be wrong right you shouldn't be shouldn't be going meddling with their genetic code uh here i think i was just gonna go and like i have a gene clinic here okay and that increases what um amenities and job po uh okay so i could upgrade that that would get us more jobs okay and then i have the building slot building slot. Am I just going to do another one of these? It wouldn't allow us to grow anymore. 
That's the only problem I have with that. But at the same time, got exotic gas refinery, here we come. Right. Okay. Uh, leave that second. Here, um, research. That's easy enough. Yep. Wonderful. I mean, we still have the workers, but who cares? I mean, they're not going to be unha unhappy, so, like, whatever. Oh, also, can we upgrade you? Um, via decision? No, because you're a ring world. Okay, cool. So you're just kind of worse than a habitat. Here, what are we doing? So you're a commercial ring, so trade value goes up? Was this one also a commercial ring? No, this was a research. Okay, cool. So for the commercial ring, we should just go for the one that has commercial stuff on it. So commercial zones. Yeah, awesome. Easy done. This one's another research, so we want research labs. I can't afford them. Why not? Because we don't have a planetary administration. Alright. Sure. Zindagi. Um, here... What are we looking for? I've done a lot of commercial zones. I also did some fortresses as well. Uh, and some strongholds. Um, okay. I think we need a commercial zone, otherwise we're going to run out of, um, jobs. Actually, clear that out. Uh, where's the gene clinic one? I know I was avoiding them, but if I have one, it's just, like, my own stubbornness that's making me avoid them. So, we might as well just go for it. Yeah. That's fine. Right. So we'll try that. Samet Man. What have we got here? So we're missing a specialist. So we could upgrade one of these and that would fix that issue. Actually, you know what? Upgrade our uh, planet to our planetary capital. That's a good start. Fill out your city district so we don't run out of um, housing. And then... Uh, wait, so it's a tech... Wait, so that's tech world. Sorry, are these upgrades... I said a sudden realization. Oh! These actually give you upgrades. Oh! <laughs> I did not know that. That's that's huge. That's why you should try and keep every world as like a one thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, that that, that is absolutely huge. I did not know that. So because this is a refinery world, it makes it better at doing what it does. Oh. Oh. Okay. And because this is an agriculture world, it gets more farmer. Oh, okay. Um, that would have been extremely useful a long time ago. <laughs> right now, not so useful. But, you know, a long time ago, could have been useful. Are technicians specialists? Um, they might be. Nope, they are workers. Okay. Uh, back to there. So... Um, I'm gonna upgrade one of these. Awesome. Cyber, you are missing some of that. Uh, you got two worker unemployment. Um, I guess I could just build another research thing here. That's fine, doesn't really matter. Right, so go with that one. Ladanu, uh, well I guess another refinery, seems good. Yeah, another exhausted gas. Yeah, down to the next one. You are missing a worker job. That's okay. Um, you got all sorts of weirdness going on here. Why do you have this monument? I haven't really figured out why you have this monument. It's a culture worker job. We could probably replace that with a bureaucrat job, assuming they're the same level. Culture workers and bureaucrats are the same level, so yeah, we could replace that with administrative offices. Um, then probably, if it's worker unemployment, we'd have to upgrade one of these, but I don't really want to upgrade the ones that cost moats. Um, how many moats do we get? We get 19. I suppose I could, yeah. Okay, I've been convinced. That's fine. Right, so I'll fix that one. This one? Oh yeah, ally, uh, an alloy foundry, perfect. They're still building. Okay, Karm. Uh, that's another... Yeah, another one of these exhausted gas refineries. But this is a generator world. Okay. Cool. Now, do these get set automatic? I can, I, I can change these, maybe. 
Yeah, okay, so I could change these based upon what I need. Oh, okay. And some of these increase build speed, so you would... I understand where some of the min-maxing is here. We just don't have, like, um... Yeah, we're just not quite there yet. Does that, what does it mean, minus three jobs? I mean, I guess that means we have three people who are in jobs that don't exist. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Um, yeah, because you expect it to go to zero and then get unemployment. So this should have unemployment, not... Sorry, this should have unemployment, not minus three, but... Whatever. I mean, if it works, it works. Who am I to uh, question it? Right, here. So we're missing worker jobs, so... I could just upgrade those. This one's okay as well. We'll upgrade that one. It's just enforcer jobs. Uh, what's this cost? Guess it's entertainer job? Sure, why not? Here? Ah, perfect. Civilian Industries. Here? That's an alloy foundry. Hatamod? Um, that can be administrative. Here? Missing one specialist job. I mean, I don't really like having that. Oh wait, I should clear it. Bureaucrats are specialists. We'll take it for a bureaucrat right now. Here, we'll go for Alloy Foundry. Can upgrade this as well, so we'll upgrade it. This one, we're looking for some civilian industries. This one, we're looking for alloys. Actually, uh, probably looking for administrative. Sildoria, you're missing a worker. We'll upgrade one of those. Yeah, to a Mega Forge. In data. Um, we'll get you an administrative office. This one. Get you an administrative office. This one. So you're missing housing and workers. Well, housing we can fix by replacing those with city districts. Workers we can fix by... Well, what are these? These are artisans. Ah, okay. So we'll upgrade one of those. Right, keeps keep going down. So I upgraded this, yeah, so it's got more districts. Although I guess it doesn't matter until we max out what we've already got. But can I upgrade it again? I could. Okay, but I'd have to have filled out the districts. Okay, so we'll hold on to those for just now. This one? You're missing worker jobs. Well, I don't have any worker jobs for you, so, I mean, shame. Here? We can upgrade that building. Uh, get a couple more autumn uh, astral mining bays. Wait, we can only get one? Oh, I already did two. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, and then I can get... I don't know what we need here. What do we get bonuses on? Minor output. Okay. Um, guess civilian industries. That seems fine. Mech on. Uh, you need housing, so that means that we could replace those with housing. Awesome. Yep. Uh, this one. Is that all they needed? Yeah, it's all they needed. Okay. This one we can clear some blockers. Or one blocker. Then three buildings. So we'll go civilian industry, civilian industry, civilian industry. Wonderful. Next one, this refinery station. Get two more of those. Upgrade. Get me some synthetic crystals. Uh, awesome. How many nanites do we have? We only get two. Yeah, so we could change it to do that. We could get nanite transmuters, but I don't see a great reason to. There are some edicts which use nanites. I should have a look at those. Uh, upgrade those. Upgrade that. Um, we got anything else that gives us energy? No. Could just go resource silo. Cool. Next one. I know we have a lot of these, but you know, once we do it once, we won't need to do it again for at least 10 minutes. Um, I was gonna say not we won't have to do it again, but then I realized oh, that's just a complete lie. We we have constantly needed to do this again. That's okay. Uh, what do you get bonuses on? Minerals from jobs. Oh, okay. Cool. I should upgrade that then. And then, I don't know, get you some civilian industries? What are those? Resource silos. You know what? I might just get you resource silos. That's okay. Right, clear that out. Next one. The resort world. Ah, yeah, I forgot about this one. 
Uh, so it's one clerk job per two pop. So we could just get more clerk jobs as well. Yeah, sure. Greatly increase the amenities on this world. Awesome. So we can't change the designation on it, can we? No. Okay, cool. Uh, but it doesn't have any how. Wait, it doesn't have any housing. How do we get housing? Wait, no, I can't build commercial zone because you have no housing. Uh, so I guess I need to build luxury residences, right? So I actually have enough housing for people to live here. <laughs> okay, sure. Upgrade that one. Lord mining districts. It's got poor quality minerals. Yet yeah, at the same time, I'm still mining in it. All right. Uh, well, I guess I won't upgrade it. At the very least, don't don't stack bad on bad. All right, Tilly's tool packs, free at last. Still got that stability at ninety nine. Wonderful news. Um, gotta be another administrative office here. Oh, uh, I might actually change that to be a generator district. Just looking at it, but that's not really what we need. Civilian industries here. Uh, oh yeah, I see what we're missing. We're missing the mining purification plant. Here, missing a mining purification plant. Same same deal. This one. Uh, we are missing one, but it doesn't matter because we ha barely have any like things to upgrade. What's that? Habitability and growth. Uh, okay, that's fine. Upgrades. Get ourselves civilian industries. Great, get two more of those. Get ourselves another uh, crystal thing. Yep, awesome. This one, upgrade. Um, then get us the mining upgrade as well. Awesome. This one, um, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that. And then we're, we're getting moat har harvesting. Okay, that's fine. Where's our moat harvesting? Oh, is that called chemical plants? Oh, wait, no, okay. It's a different thing. That's fine. We'll go with that. Here, uh, the Hall of Judgment. Okay. Oh, this must one, this one must be fairly new. This one, yeah, it's Tendrachia. Okay. Um, I would like to fill out your generator district. And then maybe build the energy grid. We still have a lot of housing, so I'll hold off on doing anything else just now there. Forge World, uh, Alloy Foundry. Yep. Next one, you're missing housing. Well, that's easy enough. Replace that with housing. This one. Uh, yeah, repl uh, demolish that. It's okay. Then we'll fill out our generator districts. I think I might do a city district as well. Build ourselves an energy grid and a resource silo. Sure, that seems fine. This one, you're missing a ton of housing. Um, if I replace all of these with city districts, that's not gonna fix our housing issue. It will give us another 24. I need to replace some of these with city districts as well. I can't do that yet. Okay, fair enough, we'll hold off. Here, uh, refinery station, but we see we could change this to whatever we want it to be, but that's fine. Refinery station works fine. Um, yeah, let's just get some trade districts in here. Why not? Seems good to me. Next one. Uh, we'll fill that out. Fill that out as much as we can. Then let's get ourselves an energy grid. Awesome. Next one. Build that out. Actually, clear those. That's probably better here. Yep. Uh, make the rest city districts. Then make that a mineral purification. Wonderful. And then we got two that are in frontier. So we've got Gorum Habitat and we got Gorum Prime. Both of which are currently being uh, colonized over here. So that's fine. Okay. Well, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, I didn't look at this one. You're missing a worker job? Oh, okay. Three reactor districts. Awesome. So, a lot of going through it, uh, but I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good to unpause. Who are we integrating right now? Is it the Zadvin Order? Yeah. Awesome. And we finish integrating in about a year. 
Perfect. Well, let's unpause. Let things move forward. It's all good. It's all good. Right. I think I'm happy with where things have gone Special here. Special project complete. The prisoner. We have lowered the energy barrier that surrounded uh, Kiram 4. What scientists found was an indistinct habitable world devoid of civilization, with one notable exception. A small isolated hut was found perched on a mesa in the planet's northern hemisphere. Within the hut we found a withered old Hazar who has demanded to speak with our government. Open the channel. You cannot imagine how good it is to finally see clear skies again, human. I am Grand Admiral Tuborek former master of the combined Hazar Armada and victor of a hundred battles. I personally oversaw the conquest of Duth, Bejak, Rikinak, Binark, and Juskari empires hundreds of your centuries ago. As my savior, I pledge my service to you. I should be honored to lead your mighty fleets into battle against your enemies. Why are you trapped behind a shield? Without my leadership skills, the Hazar would be just another extinct forgotten species. I crushed the fleets of all who opposed us and put a dozen worlds to the torch, all to preserve the future of my kind. This was my reward. When peace finally arrived, we sought treaties with those we had defeated. My presence became an embarrassment. I had become a symbol of Hazar cruelty and for my war crimes I was imprisoned alone on this world. They lacked the courage to execute me, you see. How long have you been down there exactly? When my own kind abandoned me here, they explained that time would pass more slowly on the inside of the energy barrier. For me, some of 40 of your years have passed, while the rest of the universe untold centuries must have come and gone since the barrier went up felt like centuries to me as well when I sat alone brooding in the darkness of my hut. Truly, it did. You know what? We welcome all. We would welcome your services, Admiral. Excellent. And let us depart this dismal place. I've seen enough of it to last a lifetime. Well, I kind of feel we're going to be betrayed, but um, let's have a look at our leader. So we now have a new Admiral. He is a level 10 Admiral. Oh. Okay, he has um, evasion and sublight speed, ship upkeep goes down while he's on, and leader lifespan. Okay, well I'm not going to allow him to lead our most powerful fleet, but you know, maybe one of the less powerful ones? Like, yeah, maybe the second navy cluster? He could lead that one? Awesome. Right, and that'll uh, lower the cost for those, which is good. I have Technology noticed that we're gaining discovered. 2k energy credits every month. We finished surveying a system. We completed matter compression, number 6. Uh, here... Let's get planetary build speed. Okay. Right, uh, down here as well. This one just finished its job. Go do automatic exploration. Wonderful. Right. So that's cool. We just basically went into their land and recruited their, uh, old admiral. Um, the Everite League has become more xenophilic, which is good for us, because that means that they would be more likely to be friendly. Yeah, okay. Um, if they liked us more, they would probably just say yes. We need positive relations to get a lot of stuff, though. Am I improving relations with them? No, I'm currently improving relations with the Kundan League. Uh, Arasian Syndicate can move over because uh, they are already secured. Well, I mean, they're already an associate of the Federation, so they're not joining anyone else. We can't even offer them protectorate status because they're not at peace right now, but yeah. Anyway, how did the Kundan clique feel about me after uh, what must have been several years of doing this? The, the, their uh, opinion of us actually went down last month. Improved relations is maxed, but they're, har they're actively harming relations with us. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send you over. I'm then going to send you over as well. Yeah, okay. We'll see how that goes. Right. 
we'll try and improve relations with the Kodvanites instead. The Kundan clique can never be convinced, but the Kodvanites, perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Cool. Are we still losing a bunch of consumer goods? Of course. That's fine. I mean, we can always just buy them. Works for me. Right, I'm going to scroll to the top of the list as well. What am I doing on Earth to fix it? I forgot. Oh, I'm making a city district, of course. That'll fix our housing issue. Unemployment? Not so much. Housing? Yeah. Okay. A lot of them are finishing now. Technology discovered. What did we Colony get? Colony established. We got energy credits. Nice. Oh, also it looks like our empire sprawl is getting closer. Let's get more energy credits. We've established the Gorham Bee habitat. Uh, create new sector. Uh, we're going to need a new leader. That's going to be you. Sure. Right. Clear that out. Oh, also the habitat. Uh, all the way down here. Well, it's not going to be down here anymore, is it? Oh, wait, it might be. Yeah, okay. It's going to need some things built in it. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of problems. Was it? It's a factory station. Um... I don't know. Just builds. Actually, that's not going to get jobs. Yeah, build this one. We need there to be jobs. Um, United Lavis Hierarchy has insulted us. Um, it's, uh, it's clear to us that your willingness to embrace alien cultures in the Federation is because you never fostered one of your own. Who are you? Like, actually, who are you? Wait, where are you on the map? Yeah. Oh, right, you're there. Oh, okay, why do you hate me? Um, why do you hate me, apart from xenophobia? Well, our opinion of them is down because they insulted us. Oh, they just, they've just claimed my territory. That's why they hate us, okay. Uh, here, we can grab um, a new colony, start with one additional pop. Sure, why not? We're not doing that many, but, um... Getting the end of expansion at least allows us to get an ascension perk. Oh, right. Oh, Shielded World. Grigmora 3 has been found to be completely enveloped in some kind of energy barrier. Uh, wait a second. Uh, this is the one we just had. I would like Long to lower it. Updated. Where's Gungmora 3? Is it over here? Wait, it's the same group that found it? Alright. That's, um, unusual, I would say. Um, but we'll research it, I guess. Um, oh, we're about to finish the society one as well. Ships upgraded. Nice. We probably need to upgrade them again now, but that's okay. Uh, let's go back Technology to the top here. Discovered. What did we discover? We discovered fleet command limit. Nice. That's a very useful one. Let's get edict duration, and that's what I wanted to check. It's been a long time. I was like. There's something I want to check. Yes, yeah, so what's the nanite one do? It gives you research speed. Ah, that's why I remember it. Hey, Survey complete. We're now um, better on our empire sprawl. Uh, there's a cartel war on Jerk Saromin. Okay. Finished a survey. So Jerk, 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 Jerk. Yeah, this one. So it has a center of drug trade and a cartel war. Um, distribute luxury goods, because apparently I haven't done that, although it only lasts for 120... Well, that's 10 years. It maybe should have been on here. I had it on this one, so I don't know why I didn't have it here. Um, society research from jobs goes up a lot here. Can't declare martial law. I don't have enough. Okay, well, hopefully just doing that's enough to uh, fix our issue. Just distribute some goods. Okay, cool. We're at 105 energy credits. We're, we are getting close to max. Survey it? complete. More surveys are completing. Awesome. We're actually starting to know what's going on in Hazar Visage. Another shielded Long world. Updated. An EO3. Which one's an EO3? Uh, not you. Not you. Where is EO3? Is that in here, or... Let's... Yeah, that was... Um, maybe I'll just check it here. Go to. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Well, um... 
research project, I guess. So there are multiple of these. Is it all going to be admirals, or are we going to find out there's some bigger thing going on here? Okay. Edict expired. Architectural renaissance. Oh, okay. Sure. Wait, uh, we can activate those? Oh, we're, yeah, we're two months away from that. Is there only half of one of those for an edict, or what? Oh, because we're democratic, it costs 20% less, I see. I could get that, but we're not really doing any mega structure building right now, so I'll chill on that one. Okay, so we're now equal on our empire sprawl. We're now over again. Oh, okay. Well, next month we should get it. Actually, it's this month. We got the unity one. Uh, how much unity are we getting? That's an insane amount of unity we get. Okay, well, I will get this one. So it finishes expansion. So it allows all of your planets to build one additional district. Oh, and we get the Ascension perk. So sensor range means absolutely nothing to us. Colossus project. We can build Colossus type ships that can be armed with planet killer weapons. Sounds unnecessary. Gene modification, unnecessary. Robot upkeep, unnecessary. Mind over matter, nope. Terraforming cost, nope. Starbase influence cost, nope. Starbase capacity, again, a nope. Eternal vigilance. Make your starbases more defensible. We don't really have that. Uh, diplomatic weight, damage to fallen empires, awakened empires, and gate builders. Okay, interesting. Um, we could take that. Uh, one vision, unity, pop amenities uh, usage, and governing ethics attraction. One vision is interesting. Yeah, that's one that's definitely higher on our list. Like, those two are high on my list. Master of nature, nope. Edict capacity, who cares? Uh, leader level cap, uh, nope. Voidborn, nope. Galactic wonders. So this allows us to research ring worlds, matter decompressors, and Dyson spheres. I don't really want to. And then the Arcology project. Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna choose. It's a tough one. I'm gonna choose one vision. Because it's going to get us that governing ethics attraction. It's going to make everybody get on the same page. And now we have ascended. So we are technologically ascended. We have an imperial thing with administrative capacity. Galactic force protection. Projection. Shared uh, destiny. Uh, we are master builders. Defenders of the galaxy. Xeno compatible. And one visioned. Awesome. So we are all set. Are there more things I can do here? Um, we can get civilian bonuses. Okay. Yes, yeah, so none of this we need. Xenophile ethics attraction we could get. You know what? Let's just do that one. Let's just chuck it in. Yeah, okay. Um, so now we're, we'd basically be looking for those. I know that we can... Uh, we do have an edict capacity that we have here, but if we go more, we, we could... It's also going to cost us is Empire Sprawl, which is what? Technology cost, tradition adoption, which means nothing now, and then the cost of the campaign itself. So, yeah, it's pretty much going to cost us nothing to do it. So that's cool. Right, continue chilling out to the music. Uh, we are almost at 2400, which I believe is 100 years before the end game. Uh, I probably, thinking about it, endgame, I should have set to 2400, if I didn't. Um, hey, order's been restored. There's no longer a cartel war on that planet. Yeah, it's because they're all on the other planet. Um, okay. Some people have some bad traits now, but that's because we have a ton of new governors. Okay, I'm not just going to keep replacing the governors. I mean, yeah, we could probably avoid some of these cartel war things, but it means actually nothing to us that these exist, so it's just not an issue. Hey, we've got 25. We could build another um, gateway Ships if upgraded. we wanted to. In fact, how's our gateway over here doing? So we had a gateway in here. Have we built it? We're still building. Okay. Where else would I want a gateway? 
We don't have one down here. We do have a gateway down here. Okay, so we can get down there instantly. Here we have an we have another gateway, so we can get there. Yeah, okay, so there's actually a lot of gateways around the place. So we can jump all over the place with our gateways. Maybe down here we could get a gateway. But I mean it is an L gate. Yeah. A lot of these places I have replacements that can kinda do the job. If you know what I mean, like that they're close enough. Uh, what we oh we're voting on synthetic slave trade. Okay, natural sanctuaries. Diplomatic weight from economy goes down. Um. Okay, I mean I'll support it. Fine, whatever. It seemed like it was a good thing for people, which they were kind of for in general. Uh, people are entering into research agreements. Habitat of Baldurk are, is done. Okay, here. Uh, I just saw that the warrior clans uh, made, like, some commercial packs. So that probably means that they might accept some of us. If we had positive relations, they would. Hey, you know what? We'll move one off the United Federation of Planets for now and just, yeah, improve relations. Now, um, there was one thing I wanted to check. How is our colonization of the one... What's it called? You know... Saying that and expecting response was my first uh, mistake there. Um, I know where it is on the map. Oh, there we go. The walled garden's about to finish. Okay. So I want to see this finished. I want to know that Colony we're good. Established. We actually established three there. Um, planetary build speed just went up. Wonderful. Got more armor. Uh, so walled garden. I don't seem to be annoyed right now that we ha we're here. Uh, okay, um, just spam city districts, I suppose. You know what? Fine. That'll work. This one? Ooh, you got some blockers? Clear that first, and then you know what? It's gonna spam city districts. Awesome. Right, um, so they're fine. We're just now. So are you mad? The Baldur Capitat 2. Oh, there was another one we got? Yeah, Mardfak Prime. Okay. Clear Survey that district. Complete. Whoa, whoa, pause. Spam that. That's a war declaration offer, I believe. Yeah, okay, we'll think about it. I don't have any influence, no, actually. Yeah, I'm still I'm still a vote no. Oh, is that that we are overwhelming versus them? Yeah, uh, I vote no. Sorry. Yeah, it failed because I voted no. But that's because we have no influence. Yeah, after we've integrated, I'm going to just leave it. As in, I'm going to... Um, after we've integrated, I'm going to leave it and get some influence so that we can say yes next time. And then probably eat the Kundan clique, I'd imagine, would be a good idea. If we beat, if we eat all of them and Galactic Bavi, then that probably means the Cauldronites are free to... Like, they'll probably leave the Federation automatically. Then we could probably absorb them, potentially, if they're receptive to us improving relations, which they might be. Who knows? Right, uh, where was I? Yes, uh, now that we've got that and nobody's mad, I'm just gonna start colonizing the other ones. Uh, I would like to colonize them with humans, please. Just looking for humans on this list. Do we got any humans? Half. Half human? Yeah, I'll do. Right. Uh, what else we got down here? We got any others? I thought there were like three worlds down here. No? Okay. Uh, so that one we're already doing. Ah, and then we have these two habitats that are around the place. Um, I choose... Hazar! Yeah, you can, even though you don't have 100% habitability, I still think that's funny to uh, get some of them in there. I don't know. Then what about... Oh, what about a Vran? I thought they were a hive mind. Are Vran not hive minds anymore? Excuse me? What's up with that? No, you're still a consciousness thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd think of you as honorary members of the Vran unity. Oh, isn't that nice? They would never accept protectorate stuff. I just thought I'd check. You know, be curious. It might happen. 
We are running lower on consumer goods, but that's all okay. Right, when do we integrate these people? The fact the game is running really badly makes me think it's right this very second. Yup, okay. That's why the game is running badly. <laughs> oh, that was good timing. That was very good timing. Right, um... Disband them. Disband... These guys, they're super weak. Yeah. Don't know what's up with you, but disband you anyway. Yeah, disband you. All of you just get disbanded. Yeah. Don't need any of you. Wish there was a disband all, but I could see how people might not like that. Right, keep disbanding. Keep disbanding. That one actually has some strength, but still disband it. Don't need the construction ship. You know what? I don't need your weak army. Don't need a colony ship either. Right, wait a second. We're seven over. Okay, so. Downgrade. Here, downgrade. Downgrade. Or dismantle. Uh, wait, no, it was downgrade. That's fine. Um... That's an observation post that we already have. This one, downgrade. 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 Awesome. We're now down at the right number. Hey, we've got something we can actually uh, get here. Do I not have a... I have a construction ship who's close enough. Okay. That's fine. Go and build a mining station there. Nothing else we can get, but that's some zero. Awesome. Okay, and then we got this. Is this a holy world? No, it's just a random habitat. Okay. Uh, I send... Go back into the hundreds. I'm going to send that to be happy to, uh, to be taken by... Uh, there's too many robots. Um, there's also too many quiv quivarks. Uh, I'm going to send this half sealed or weird looking thing over there. Right. Awesome. So we've already integrated them, basically. Uh, let's have a look at the Frontiers uh, thing yet. Okay. So, that... Wait, let me just see. So this one... I guess Dolok was, was their main one, because it says Empire... Wait, that says Empire Capital. Uh, wait, where's Dolok? One, two... Th maybe, and then Yadar... Oh, yeah, so Yadra. Great new sector on Yadra. Then they're all in there. New governor assigned. That's going to be uh, this guy who can't quite fit in the frame. Awesome. Right. So he's now got all of that. Fantastic. Uh, oh, we'll send him the welcoming bundle. We'll go for... Oh, it already has that. Okay. It already has that. It already has that. Wonderful. Well, the Zadvin order has been taken. We now should be, at the end of the month, gaining influence, which we'll see in just a second. Once it, you know, gets around to letting us. Survey complete. Another survey done. Awesome. Yeah, so we're now gaining six influence a month, so we can now actually get influence which we can use to, well, claim some land. Ideally, we want to start claiming, like, the ones near here. I don't know why they haven't claimed that system. There's probably some horrible thing in it, but... It seems to me like we should just be able to walk in there and take it at some point. Oh, wait, they probably haven't claimed it. So they probably don't have access to that pro uh, to there because they had to go through our land to get there. Yeah, so they've just never had access to that system. Oh, okay. Well, we can get it. Awesome. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.